Hello, and welcome to another episode of Daily Drinkers Podcast. As always, my name is Rocky. I am drinking, what am I drinking today? Ranch water, blue agave, hard seltzer. What does that say at the bottom? Lime, because it tastes like a Sprite with no alcohol. It is weird. Cheers. Cheers, Rocky. Uh, I'm drinking a vodka spritzer with more vodka in it and some lime wedges. Cheers. I'm a dink and I'm drinking Fireball tonight because I ran out of rum. Ah. Some Dr. Pepper. Fireball. And some popcorn. Ugh. Fireball. I can't stand Fireball. Just because I don't like the cinnamon, that that flavor of cinnamon, that like the candy cinnamon. Nah. Fireball and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Pepper, I could do. It's the fireball. It's 24 flavors of deliciousness. <laughs> Marbles is over there drinking straight vodka. Pretty much. It was one of those Kettle One vodka spritzers that we have that um, no one finished. So I'm like, I'll put one of those in a cup in one of these like aluminum disposable cups that we have. Um, it's really cold to hold because it gets really cold. Anyway, I poured one of those in there, threw some ice, some lime wedges, and then I poured some more alcohol on top of it. More importantly, elaborate on this aluminum disposable cup. Yeah, they're like recyclable, recyclable, like aluminum cups. Never heard of them at all. Oh, never. Yeah. They're like Maybe aluminum they're Dixie cups. Uh, they collect the aluminum from other places and then make cups. It, that's what makes it. Recyclable. The box says it's 100% recycle, recycled aluminum that you could re recycle yes. into more about that. aluminum. So, I don't know. It makes the drinks. It, the drinks stay cold. It's kind of like drinking it out of a. Um, like when you're drinking out of a copper mug, how cold it gets. It's pretty much like that. You know what else is made Except out of the aluminum? size of a solo cup. <laughs> what? Plain? Jail toilets. <laughs> Jailhouse toilets are made out of aluminum. Aluminum? So you're drinking Not... out of a toilet. Oh, probably. This will be a toilet someday. Mm. No, it was a toilet. Mm. No, it was a toilet. Mmm, <laughs> all that alcohol. Mm. Marinated. Toilet booze. <laughs> the way God oh. intended. Don't think he ever intended to <laughs> So, what's uh, what's new this week with you Dink guys? Dink is actually here. Dink's here. <laughs> He's been unaccounted for off and on the last couple of weeks. Apparently, he has this. It's only gonna get worse too. <laughs> he has the sleeping schedule of a newborn. No, that's that was only that week. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm going. To, I've been going to bed at like, like last night. I think we went upstairs at like ten o'clock, which you guys know me. That's odd. That is, yeah. The last two nights, I've been. I went to bed at like nine. And then I get rudely woken up at freaking eleven thirty my time, saying sorry that I didn't come play. <laughs> but it was a good, funny conversation. So one of my friends was at a party, and his kids <laughs> got in a fight on trampoline. And that's the cool here. I'll I'll read the text just just so I don't <laughs> mess it up at all. So the build up to this is this friend always says he's gonna play Xbox with us, and then magically when it's time to play Xbox, he's like, "Oh hey, I'm at the bar." Oh, hey, I'm at my friend's house. Oh, hey, I'll be on in a little bit. Something came up. But it never really tells us what goes on. <clears throat> and so we like to give him grief, and we'll always make excuses. So we, he said last night he'd be on. He just had this event to go to, and we were giving him grief. And we get this text message. 
at 11 o'clock at night. 11.30. No, they got into in front of they got into it in front of everyone and pushed each other out of the trampoline and nearly broke their necks. Then my oldest screamed at the top of her lungs like her goddamn leg is broken. <laughs> then they had the brilliant idea of back talking. <laughs> <laughs> the brilliant idea of back talking. Because <laughs> nothing is smarter as a child than to already make your parents angry when they're angry and then back talk them like they're wrong. Yeah, that's that's not great. That it never ends well. well. Also, then, you don't know this. This friend is now a ping pong tournament player. <laughs> <laughs> How how that ball soccer ping pong tournament? This friend is doing everything they can to not play Xbox with us. To do Play everything with but hang out with us. I played with him. Oh, and the kicker is this friend's wife, who always finds a way to not hang out with us. To also not, yeah. This is not coming. Supposed to be having a trip to hang out with uh, the families to hang out with Dink and Kelly. Except now the wife doesn't know she can get off work. Him and the girls are coming, though. He said, guaranteed they're coming. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So what you're saying is... His wife does not exist. We, we need to just show up at his house without telling him just to find out if she really exists or not. Amy is not real. Just stake out I mean, in front of his house and find out when she comes home from work and see if it really happens, if she really exists, or if it's just the pizza guy. <laughs> yeah, Rocky. The friend who shall... Why? Your, your mustache. Hello. Mustachio. No, I'll... If I don't meet her here, I'll meet her in September. So you think, because she's going to be busy, that, that's going to be the weekend she gets off. Yeah, she's going to go on a trip by herself across the country <laughs> to visit family or something without him. It's going to be me, Method, and the girls just hanging out. <laughs> Anthony will swing by for a visit. <laughs> Mm. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got I got a betting odds. We can start it right now. What will happen first? We meet Amy, or I actually hang out with Ryan in person. Which one is going to happen first? Ooh, um, I think meeting Amy. <laughs> That's like trying to drop a cat with a piece of buttered bread. On his back. Down and see, yeah, see which one lands first. <laughs> Cat landing on its feet or the butter bread face down. That's how you get unlimited power. True story. It's just like an immovable object hitting a... Was it unstoppable force? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told Rocky the other day... Um, He's going to meet both of my kids before he meets Ryan's second <laughs> in person. Speaking of which, when I was in Fredericksburg, I don't know if this will actually show up on there. It's a t-shirt for a baby that says, I like big trucks and I cannot lie. Of course. I was tempted to buy it, but I figured the kid would probably be 16 by the time when I actually see it again. <laughs> oh i was gonna tell you guys um i'm getting from fedex don't know what it is because i don't remember ordering anything but there's a four pound box coming from illinois <laughs> what and i don't what? i don't know what it is because i didn't buy it speaking of package did you get my package not yet no Oh, never mind. 25th. Okay. <laughs> Yours is supposed to be there the 22nd. Or 24th. Today's 22nd. 
What's that? Oh, okay. Thursday. Yeah. So by Friday, you'll both have your packages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope not Friday because I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it's coming from. I'm not talking about my trips because (laughs) somebody's gonna find out where I live. (laughs) Someone's gonna have a a whiteboard with a bunch of red string pointing to all these locations and trying to find the center point. (laughs) Yeah, this 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 package is coming from Illinois. It's 4.2 pounds. It's a 10 by 10 by 10 inch box. Hot dogs. I don't know what that is. (laughs) Hot dogs. And, and you didn't order it. No, I didn't order anything in the last, like, two Hot weeks. Dogs. <laughs> but it has all your contact information. It's coming to my house. Actually, I'm America. very upset right now because hmm. that just reminded me. Because this particular friend was supposed to send me a hot dog or a pizza when my child was born. Oh. Hmm. And then... Uh, he figured out what Ryan liked, and he went. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna order this for you." And then he find out, found out what Ryan liked, and then he sent Ryan something. And I was like, "Wait, where's my hot dogs or pizza?" <laughs> oh, he's got a hot dog for you. <laughs> Only a month away. That's... I've gotten cookies from Chicago. Yeah, BigFatCookie.com. <laughs> Those cookies. Milo's gotten cookies. I've from... got cookies from Chicago. It's cookies from Rich. They're really sugary. It was like crack. Oh. From him? No. No. I sent him the marbles. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> this mother. Rocky. Rocky sent me cookies from Chicago. <laughs> it's like what, five states away or something. I don't hmm. know. Halfway across five the country. States? A minimum of five. Yeah. What? Yeah, north you to know south. Where... Isn't that is that like five states? Four states? How many states do you cross? Do I cross the no, Chicago? No, to get from Rocky to Chicago. How many states is that? I'm going six. I thought you were talking about from you. If no, I want to no, be no. technical, <laughs> I only have to go through two states and I well, and Illinois would be the third state. Well, I'm saying he, he ordered one. Yeah, you technically two, technically two states. You have to cross. I could technically, I could go Oklahoma up to 44 and cut through Missouri and take that straight in. Missouri. Missouri. Or I could go the oh. Dink route, go into Arkansas, cut through Tennessee, Kentucky. Indiana into Illinois. So I had my gutters clean today. Did you do Best it? Best $300 I ever spent. <laughs> Guess you didn't do it. <laughs> so we had this massive downpour yesterday. And like water has been pouring. One of the gutters, like water has been pouring like over and hitting our windows. And I was like, man, I really need to clean that. And then this massive downpour came. And then Liam and I were running around looking at all the windows, looking at the rain. And there's like five places at this go that was like flooding over. So I was like, screw this. I was like, that means all these are clogged and I'm really not in the mood to do this. The dude's like, yeah, I do houses like this all the time. It takes about two, three hours. Dude was here for like six hours. (laughs) And I was just like, and then. So I'm sitting here. I was playing, playing with tubes, and uh, I looked at my cameras, and he's his car's still there because he was like, "Yeah, I have like this one more section, and then I'll be done." And I was like, "Okay." Like an hour goes by. I'm playing with him, and then he went to the gym, you know, trying to get all buff. First ping pong tournament. No, that was later on tonight, and. Uh, then all of a sudden, I, it's like, I see him, and I'm like, man, what is this guy doing? He said he was going to be done like in like 10 minutes. I walk outside, and his truck's in there. Don't see him out there. Don't see him in the front. Go into my backyard. Dude standing on my roof. Trapped. 
Because my roof is like 15 feet off the ground. And he was like, when I first looked at it, it looked like the first one, you know, it was only like three or four foot difference that I could just climb right back on to this. And he's like, I regret that decision because it was like three <laughs> feet taller. It's like six feet and I can't get that high. So the dude was just sitting on my porch or my roof for like 20 minutes, just waiting for somebody <laughs> to come out and find him. <laughs> yeah, I was, I felt so bad, but I was cracking up laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like six hours cleaning my gutters but that's that's I'm crazy glad I, didn't do it. I don't even have gutters i think we I'm have gutters bar. but somebody I'm else not cleans them <laughs> having gutters is a uh, a luxury mm-hmm all the houses I grew up around didn't have gutters. <laughs> Just a flat roof. So water came off in all different directions. Or it just stayed on the roof. Yeah. Or it just pulled on the roof. And you end up with a puddle in your living room. Hmm. So we'll see how good it is. I'll call him back if it clogs again. Hey, you know I mean, that one spot where you got stuck on my roof for two hours? Um, that's the spot that's leaking. Um, how, why did it take so long? Because there was, like, that much buildup. So it just took them that long just to dig it out? Huh? More Man, importantly, sucks. why didn't you have them cleaned out when before you moved in? Should have been the smarter move. Um, because I had nothing to do with this house before I moved in. I saw it for the first time when I moved in. <laughs> excuses 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 and it was like the heart of winter so i don't gives you plenty of time to go out yeah, there and yeah. clean them dig underneath that one foot of snow yeah yeah you don't have to worry about the rain because it's just compacted into snow yeah it just shows how lazy the previous owners were, though. Do you have a lot of trees on your property? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next project is we're going to get uh, our air ducts cleaned. And I'm scared of that. Yeah, that might be bad. <laughs> Given that most people don't regularly clean clean that stuff. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even clean their filters, let alone their air ducts. It's rare to find people who clean the freaking dryer lint trap <laughs> after every oh. after every dry. <laughs> See, every dry woman. You're supposed to do it every like... single time you use the dryer. You're supposed to clean it out. No, you do it every like three or four. Depending. Remember. You don't do it for when you remember. Depending on the load, if you're going to have big stuff like blankets, jackets, then for sure every load. If you're doing something like sheets or underwear, yeah, you can go like two loads. Yeah, but if you're doing like your regular clothes, there'll be a layer yeah. on there. I do I do every single time. Yeah, you're supposed to. Because it, it fucks with the efficiency when it's clogged. Mm -hmm. It doesn't dry as well. Shenanigans. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a study on this. I've also been using that, um, like washer, washing machine cleaner, like once a, a fresh, month. A fresh tune. Mm -hmm. Have you ever actually cleaned out your, uh, the hose part though, the filter? Uh, not here. I can't really get to it. <laughs> um, I don't really want to try to pull out the double stacked washer and dryer out of the closet that it's in to try to get back there <laughs> I hear plus plus it's an apartment so i don't i don't want to i just don't want to fuck with that call your landlord i did take a, huh no I, they... I could put in like maintenance requests for stuff i had them fix uh the microwave um like a week ago the turntable inside the microwave stopped spinning and i figured it was probably the motor 
And so instead of me doing it myself, I put in a ticket and some guy came out that day. He's like, yeah, it's a motor. I got to order a new one. I'll come back tomorrow. Came back tomorrow and fix it. <laughs> so it was like, cool. I would have them. I would have them. That's why I pay out. all that money for. <laughs> just say, you know, it's starting to smell every once in a while and they'll just come out and clean it. Yeah, I, I'm still curious about where the actual vents for that is. Because it doesn't look like it's on the outside. So I don't know if they have it piping up into, I don't know, the freaking attic or something. That's how they insulate the place. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. they just put <laughs> dryer dust uh, lint up there. Insulate the ceiling. Eh, probably. Um, and that way... When um, fires start to happen in a few weeks for you, it'll just ignite the place, and then he'll collect on insurance. Yeah. Just collect. tell them you saw somebody put some wild bird seed in your dryer vent, and so you need it cleaned out. <laughs> like I said, I don't think there's a vent to the outside wall that I can see. So I don't know where the yeah. vent actually goes. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, what was I going to say? The, um, oh, there was something I was curious if, uh, because we have the internal AC, like HVAC, um, vent, right? That's in the hallway that sucks the air in from, from the apartment. And I replace that filter every like three months on like a schedule. But. I don't know if they ever clean the the AC unit outside, like the actual small unit, if they ever take that apart and clean it. And I was wondering if um, if I should ask them about that, because I don't think it's part of their maintenance that they go and do that. It should. It should be part of the HVAC guys. I mean, I don't know if someone comes out and I just never noticed. And someone comes out like once a year or something, but um, I was just reading some articles that oh, like it's you know summertime and everyone's using AC and you should clean out your HVAC unit. When we when we moved into this place, um, I opened the filter cover in in the hallway, and I don't think that filter had ever been cleaned since it was installed. <laughs> It was, it was so caked on. Even the um, the like the cardboard rim of the filter was was like caked in dust. Uh. Not just the filter itself, but like the actual rim of the of the filter had like a packed on layer. And the filter was actually caved in a little bit because the the HVAC had so much trouble trying to suck air in. It like folded the filter Ooh. inward, <laughs> and I had to like pry it that. out. And then put a new one in. Yeah, I'm afraid that's what mine's gonna look like. And I'm like, that's that's bad. That's bad for, especially someone like me who has a lot of allergies. I can't be breathing that in, or else I'm miserable. So, I don't know. So why do you think you have a bad hair day? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Rocky. Because I, so I was half asleep. Uh, eight forty-five. And I was sleeping on a pillow, so it looked like like that. And then I had like a weird little spot like right here. How much product do you have in your hair that it can sit like, cause like if I go like that, it just falls right back down. So I usually <laughs> use mousse and some kind of hair cream or hair putty, depending on what I have available. I stay away from gel now, but I just need to go to a real barber and get an adult haircut. Instead of just going to great clips and just getting my usual. But why are you going to see that's the thing? It's like, so we're going to, we have a wedding this weekend. We're going to be, so that we're going to. And I was in, the child is in it. So I was like, you know, let's go get a professional haircut. So it like actually looks good. These people want $50 to cut his hair. And we were like, nah. Child, you're going to Great Clips. <laughs> and it <messed> up. <laughs> this is what it is. Why would you even charge that much for a little kid? 
for style, bro. Is he is he good getting his haircut well, that's though? The thing is, what? Is he good getting his haircut? Like, is he fine with it, or is he like not like it? Not for me, but if she takes him, he's good. Okay. Um. Well, that's the thing is they most places don't do kid cuts, and they charge him for a men's cut. And I'm like, that's the stupidest thing ever. But whatever. Bro, I still don't even know what I cut my hair with. I'm like, eh, let's see. Uh, let's go with this length and this on the sides. I don't know what it's called, but let's imagine it together. They they throw it whenever I go get a haircut. They're like, so you did this last time. How was that? I was like, sure. Yes. <laughs> I sure. want this uh, style. Here's a picture. Can you guys do something like this? Not with your head shape. Okay, why don't you tell... You just go design around my head, and you do your thing. Not with your head shape? I've never had them say that to me. <laughs> there was this uh, old black lady, and she was like, Honey, that's going to look horrible if I do that. Your head is... You know, you're a really nice boy, but your head is too big for that style. And I was your like, head is too big got for you. that style. Now, what about this? And she's like, with your hair, your hair is too fine for that. Okay, then just you do you, lady. I'll figure it out if I don't like it. You just go with what your soul tells you. I did that I once. That. Yeah. I had a friend back in the, well, I had multiple friends that used to cut hair. It was nice when I was friends with them because I used to go get free haircuts all the time. Like, I was looking fresh all the time. So I was like, man, I really need a haircut. But then one of them um, got divorced and she was cheating on her husband and stuff like that. So, and then the other one, I just stopped being friends with her. (laughs) (laughs) No more free haircuts. It was nice. So that's what I need to do this weekend. Go do yard work and get a haircut. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow, Thursday. I don't yeah. know. All, the... all day long. I thought today it was Wednesday. I was out of my mind. <laughs> well, so last night, because <clears throat> like I said, I usually go to bed pretty late. Last night I was like, oh, shoot, I have so much stuff to do today. And she's like, no, you don't. I was like, yeah, I do. I got like blah, blah, blah. And just kept. And she's like, no, it's before midnight. We're going to bed. Like, it's not tomorrow or today yet. <laughs> but, uh, it's so weird. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I, I was thinking also it was uh, Wednesday. Um. But I have a ton of work to do for work work, and they're allowing us to work overtime, apparently. But aren't you salary? No, I'm hourly. Oh. I was like, that's nice of them to tell salary workers, you guys can work overtime today. I used to be salary, but now, uh, since last year, when I switched companies, it's hourly. And they told me, like, you can't work overtime unless the higher-ups, like, approve it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And because it's going to cost them, a, you know, an arm and a leg to pay us. $100 million. <laughs> they they, don't, like, want us, they yeah, don't want us working I overtime. Work at all. What? Like, I'm not hanging out with you guys at all. I'm going to be working. I will finish this whole project by myself. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to log 180 hours this week. <laughs> <laughs> um. Ever once hey I, I just bought a island in Fiji because I was working overtime this week. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> at one of my old jobs, I um, I was working for uh, like recruiting. Um, it was before the, my the company hired me full time, and so I was working under a recruiter, and that's who paid me. And I was working hourly, and it was a really big, intensive project, and I was working. Um, I think I worked like 80 hour weeks and the, um, 
the, like the recruiter that was kind of managing me, she actually called me like on like the day before payday or something. She's like, did you, did you actually work these hours? I'm like, yeah, I did. She's like, you know how much money you made in a single week? <laughs> she goes, you were getting double time at the end of that because you were working more than six days. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah, I had a lot of work to do and they said I had to get it done. So I was staying till, you know, midnight, two in the morning working. And yeah, it was a pretty good payday. I wish. Ha, 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 So I'm probably going to work a little bit more after getting off this episode. And then oh, all man. night long. This episode's over. <laughs> now we know why he's getting a 10 by 10 by 10 mystery box. Because he's hallucinating at 3 in the morning after working all day. Yeah. <laughs> I just bought this $5,000 mystery box from Illinois. I actually looked at my bank statements. I'm like, I haven't spent any money. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that could be. <laughs> a four-pound box. And I didn't so, buy anything. Since she's not in the room, why don't you tell all of us when it's going to happen? Because I heard she was uh, wink-winking the whole entire time. For what? He's still oblivious. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro, that was like a hard tie-in. And if you're talking what I think you're talking about, I'm having trouble following this one. When are you going to propose? Oh, that? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, because mar <laughs> marbles, you're marbles. Um, what's the <laughs> other guy's name? Toops. <laughs> Wants to do a bachelor party run. And I was like, well, we got to hit marbles up on that one. So apparently we're going to be doing Cabo next year. Oh, yeah, Kelly. What? I'm going to Cabo next year. No. <laughs> that what? was a quick no. Wow. Quick no. I'm going to Cabo. Don't <laughs> worry. You know what? I think babysitter time, you're both going to Cabo. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get hey. Rosetta Stone so I can practice my Spanish. I'm going to Cabo. Are you going to ask why? Yeah. Ask it. Why? It's Method's 40th birthday. And he's fucking going to Cabo? Yeah. Who does that? Method. Doesn't he have ping pong to play or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to turn into a trip to Japan now. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking. Most likely I'm going. Yeah, not either. All right, where, where are you allowed to go then for his 40th? What? You're going to go to Cabo? I'm going to take off work to watch the kids? Sure. Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> your, your parents, no, not you hers. <laughs> your mom, not her mom. No, my you mom know? actually works. Oh. Yeah, you can have it all. Okay, because we know her dad's going to be right next to her at work, so. She actually spent the first day uh, Monday. She goes in on Monday and Wednesdays. Being a shot caller. I what was my step count? Monday, I I had my step count was like fourteen thousand steps. Cause Liam Liam and I were just running around everywhere. Dang. Trying to tire him out so you would take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and the kicker of that is so his nap time's like two o'clock. And that's usually like my break. And so it was like 1.30, and then she texts me as, hey, we're going to meet one of my friends tonight for drinks, and the kids are coming. And I was like, oh, my God. All right. So, you know, he actually wasn't that bad at the bar we went to. But as soon as we got home, he was out. But so we have cameras all over our house. We have like 11 cameras at our house, like inside and out. And uh, 
note to those who want to rob his house while he's on vacation. Yeah. He's watching. I have security everywhere. Um, so one of the times, so the baby girl was sleeping and she finally went to sleep. First time she went to sleep since she woke up in the morning at seven or seven 30. That was like probably like 1230 or one that she fell asleep. <clears throat> she was probably asleep for five minutes and Liam comes into the kitchen where she's sleeping, climbs. I didn't even know he could climb up the freaking bar <laughs> chairs, climbs up and then climbs into his little, he's a little toddler uh, booster thing. So it's kind of, it's this cool contraption. Uh, it allows kids to climb into it and it raises their, it gives them like a foot and a half so they can like sit at the counter or they can stand at the counter and like help you if you wanted to help, let them help like cook or do something like that. Climbs into that and is stand, sitting probably like a foot away from the baby girl and then screams. <laughs> <laughs> She's only been asleep for five minutes finally. So I pulled him out and then I slapped his hand and told him, no, he takes off running. I get her back to sleep and then I went and found him. And then I like, I was like, I'm sorry. Like I really didn't mean to slap you, but you did bad. And then I was like, and he was, he kept saying no. And I was like, well, ask mommy if, or something. I was like, ask mommy's probably watching right now. <laughs> and then, and because you can watch from your cell phone anywhere. <clears throat> so if you can watch me or rob me, I'm going to watch you the whole time. But, um, and then Kelly all of a sudden was like, hi, Liam. <laughs> and I was like, that was weird. Like, see, she is watching. <laughs> and then it turns out she was, I was like, we started texting and I was like, how long have you been watching us? And she's like, I literally turned it on like 20 seconds before you said that. And I was like, that's creepy. <laughs> she turns it on and you're like, mommy's watching you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, well, he lost it when he heard her voice though, too. Cause I mean, he, like he's used to both of us, both of us being here. And... <clears throat> I don't know. It was fun though. One of these days we're going to go to the zoo. Uh, I don't think so. Why? We go. We used to go to places all the time. <clears throat> I was going to go tomorrow, but we're trying to, we have water, like uh, plumbers coming over to replace outside faucets. They were supposed to come Monday, then they canceled. So then they were supposed to come just today. And then we called at 4.30 to see if they're coming and they're like oh no like we're booked um so we'll try again tomorrow so now i have to sit home again tomorrow or, and wait for them i'm just like that's <clears throat> random they give you a three-day one we will be there monday or friday <clears throat> or any day in between or just another day Sometime in the month of June, we will be there. You will have a two-minute notice on when we are showing up at your house. <laughs> Kelly, did you pull the truck on the driveway? No. Okay. Oh, somebody already <clears throat> ate it in the street. You guys should so be lucky we, you got that. Do I? Found out, I found out today that the car shortage supposed to be hitting strong over the next two and a half years i'm sure oh well, yeah <clears throat> they're behind <clears throat> on they're already behind it's gonna take a while for them to catch up right yeah. now we have 89 <clears throat> cars on our volkswagen lot and they're basically telling us we won't get back to normal for about two to three year window so they're telling our sales team like get it while you can because we don't know when you guys are going to be getting work yeah it's gonna be good shortage <clears throat> that uh, sales are going to dry up. Did I tell you guys about the car that got delayed? No. Uh, it's been, I don't know how long it's been. I guess, yeah. 
So we we they didn't know where our car was for a while. It was made. They got they got the shipping notice, and then like a week passed by, and they were like, "We have no idea." And then, like three days later after that, they were like, "All right, your car is in Toledo, Ohio." And I was like. Bitches, I'll drive there. That's three <laughs> hours from me. Like, I'll go get this right now. <clears throat> and they were like, nah. And then he was like, just don't feel bad. Like, the guy was like, yeah, so I have a car right now. I just literally got off the phone with these people. Um, they ordered a car before we did. And all I guess it was a different brand. I don't, he didn't tell go into details, but he was talking about how um, the company just called him today because it was supposed to be delivered that day. Um, company called him that day and it was like, "Nah, your car, your car is gonna get delayed another six to eight weeks because we don't even have like any of this material for it or anything like that." And I was like, I would be so pissed. Because, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, bro, I just spent top dollar to get my car in this time frame, and now you're telling me it's another two months out? <clears throat> no, thank you. Yeah. We had a car get stuck in Houston at the port for four weeks with no answers on why it was stuck there or what bro. was going on. Mm, probably i can only it came, out of, it came out of germany not mexico if it came out of mexico i'd say 100 percent. well i think that's why we had a delay because our truck came out of mexico <laughs> and i'm pretty sure they searched it before it came customs has been stupid hang-ups it'll either take like 10 minutes or 10 days there's no in between yeah so i don't know we have it we're excited we sold our Cherokee for a profit. Nice. We got full asking uh, plus. So we got our payoff plus the four remaining. We had four payments left. So I mean, it wasn't that big a deal. So payoff plus four payments plus $900 on top of that for it. Dang. And we're, he was like, right, do you guys, would you guys like to do this? And we were like, yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, I'll give it to you now. And he's like, your, your truck won't be here for another like three days. I was like, or four days. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. Just now. <laughs> Let's uh, agree on this deal while we can. Yeah. Yeah. He was, I was like, um, cause I was talking to him and I was just like, no, take it now. Like, I don't want them to back out. He's like, trust me, nobody's going to back out. They're going to give you this cause they want it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, well, I have to. I was like, are they going to be upset? Because, like, I was like, I got to drive. I'm going to, I'm just telling you now, I'm going to put like a thousand miles on this in this next week. And he was like, no, go ahead. I don't really care. And they took it. I mean, wow. The used car market is <laughs> about to go bonkers. Because there's no new cars coming in. So I tried to talk to my sales team. I was like, hey, guys, I got my 08 Fusion out there. Right now, you guys could have it. 10 Gs. You know, <laughs> minor, minor cosmetic work, little scratches here and there. 10 Gs. Because, you know, by this time next year, it'll be worth like 25. So uh, I'll give you the heads up. Like, I keep telling her, and she said, I can, I'm, I got to go ahead finally. I'm going to take my Jeep in. Just see what I get offered. If it's anything over like 13 or 14, I'm taking it. I don't even care. I think you can get anywhere from 15 to 18. And if you hold out a few months, you can probably get it to 20 to 22. So we'll see. The one, the, cause I was talking to the dude for a while. I'm the, I'm very nice when it comes to like people coming to work in my house. Like, I mean, we have like, we go to Costco and buy all of our drinks and stuff. So we're like, we have a garage fridge. It's the nicest garage fridge you'll ever see. Um, Cause in our old house, we bought a fridge 
and it was on back order because it was COVID. So after like a while, they gave me a loaner fridge, <laughs> and then we had the loaner fridge for like four months. <laughs> and I, like when they came to, t- they finally delivered our fridge. I was like, <clears throat> I was like, well, so this is. It was a brand new fridge when they gave it to it. the loaner fridge was brand new. And I was like, well, how much are you guys going to sell this for back at the place? And I got, how much did I get for that? Because they kept delaying it and I kept calling them. And I was like, well, I want I want a discount because you guys keep telling me time. Yeah. So back like $500 <laughs> at the end of it. And then um, they are like, we'll give you this loaner fridge for... I think it was six hundred and fifty dollars. Sold. And I was like, "Deal." So you bought a <laughs> fridge for one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, brand like it wasn't top. Like it was, it was nice. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like holy crap. So we left that loaner fridge at the old house, and then we took our like, because we spent like twenty five twenty. Well, the list price was like twenty two. Yeah. But I, with my discount and stuff, it was. We got it, and it was a sale time, so we paid like twelve hundred for it, and so we kept that fridge, and now it's in our garage. So like, I was just like, well, this is an extremely nice fridge for a garage. <laughs> it's like twenty nine cubic feet or inches or something, or whatever it is. Six deer when he goes out hunting. <clears throat> yeah. So I always offer people. Daryl, how much salt did you put in that? I don't want yeah. <laughs> yeah, how much salt did you put in there? Well, we had a. Uh, I thought we bought some when I made it because I was mm, some like. <laughs> no, that's my spare Gatorade, woman. Get away. <laughs> you got some fireball. Yeah, she needs some more sodium from that Gatorade to wash down her salt. You, <laughs> hey, you owe me three shots. You owe me three shots. Well, let's do them real quick. Let's go double she scotch owes, right now. She owes me three shots from the last time I was there. You owe Marvel's three shots. He hasn't forgot either. Deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a wedding, she's the matron of honor. Um... And she hasn't run the speech yet. It's, it's Saturday. Really, you don't need to write the speech. You speak from the heart. Well, it, so there's, there's two. There's the honor and then the matron of honor. Um, matron is because she's married. Um, and the other girl, they're sharing it, the speech. And the other girl wrote like, like a 2,000 long 2,000 word page or 2,000 word like speech and Kelly's like I don't want I can't say that much like what she should, what? Just, she should, just, she should just say the speech from like stand and deliver <laughs> so I got the final Edward James almost speech like monologue and just do that the Christopher Walken speech and catch me if you can no the Christopher Who Walken speech I? from from uh, Pulp Fiction <laughs> About the watch. <laughs> no, two mice fell into a bucket of cream. One mice, one mouse gave up and drowned. The other mouse kept churning and turning his feet. Eventually, that cream turned into butter and he climbed out. And then she just walks away. Boom! Speech is done. There you go. You hear that? Problem solved. She doesn't care about you. <laughs> two mice fell into a bu- <laughs> so unfortunately I missed last week I mean it sounded like you guys had a blast with the E3 conversation yeah, we talked talk about it a little bit um, I mean there's some games that I look that look like uh, I want to play and what's convenient is I mean all I watched was the Xbox Bethesda spot i didn't watch like uh any of the other ones i heard nintendo director is really good but um 
the fact that Xbox is like, oh yeah, all these new games are coming out like day one on Game Pass. So it's like, cool, I don't have to... <laughs> I don't yeah. have to. I don't, to, buy I don't have to go buy it. I could just play it if if it looks cool when it comes out. I could play it, and be done with it. Awesome. Especially yeah. since I don't have to pay for Game Pass for like another year, or two. So. Yeah, that's rocky. Yeah. Or ever. <laughs> hey. I I don't think Kelly actually has to pay either. Yeah. Cause I, you don't have to pay for Xbox Live anymore. Because you glitched, you glitched Xbox the way that I have Amazon glitched. Because oh. I don't think it's supposed to work on Family Deal and Game Share at the same time. Well, so it's like network and or Xbox. Like since she's on my Xbox, like it work. I think it worked. I don't know. It has to ah, do. It has weird. to do with like the home Xbox versus the the accounts on the actual like net, on the Xbox that's connected to the network. Or something. Yeah. It's. it's... I don't know, if I have to pay for hers, it's fine. She ain't getting Game Pass, or she just gets the month or the yearly subscription. Yeah. I'm just happy I haven't paid for Amazon since like 2009. I don't um, get any of the perks for it other than Prime. I don't get Amazon Video. I don't get Amazon Music. I told I get you you can sign in with mine for Amazon Video. Yeah, but every time I try it, it like fucks up my system. So <laughs> it's because you're I... logged in with yours. That's why. Yeah, so I don't want to run the risk of having you. You to... stay logged in with yours on like your computer and your phone, but on your other systems, you completely log out and you log in with mine. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like too much work. And then it'll work. Too much work. Oh. Jeff. <clears throat> Jeff I need to hear this. I can, if you want to watch something, I could always. I just learned today that uh, I can do a watch party on Twitch. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I don't look at all that. They're also adding that kind of stuff to um, to the actual apps. To the actual apps, I forgot which ones have it, but there's some that like natively you can do that. We used to do old school uh, Netflix. I, I don't even know my. Do you remember when Netflix had that on the 360, mm-hmm. where you could and it would just show like a theater, and you could invite there was people. One main person. One that person would, would stream it. it, and everyone else could join, and it would show, and you could do like emotes during the movie and stuff, and do like chat, have like a chat window, and you can type stuff. That was actually pretty, pretty cool that they did that like fun. 15 years ago. Where is Ryan at? The beach. Which? He looks at, like he's at a lagoon right now. Is that like Gulf Beach or Atlantic Beach? Uh, he flew, so I would have the to Atlantic imagine. Atlantic somewhere? East Coast. East Coast Beach? I mean, he could have flown to the other side of uh, Texas. The Gulf. It's a three-hour drive, though. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you drive to the airport? I don't know. And do a forty-five minute flight. I mean, you're talking like, are you flying to like Florida, like the, the west coast of Florida? Because like he could drive to like Louisiana or something, like one of those states. It's not that far. He wouldn't drive to Louisiana. I, mean, I don't know why you'd fly with a seven-month pregnant woman. If it was something that well, short. Normally they don't allow that. That's why I, I, I'm sure he got a little mad at me, but I was just like, um, when, because like, you know, me and Toops were talking about a, our vacation, and I was like, Ryan, I, I would have invited you, but I knew you would have said no, so. And he got upset, but I was like, <laughs> Your kid's going to literally be born or supposed to be born like a week and a half, two weeks after. I was like, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So. I was like, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I never understood people who would take 
trips and stuff and they're like I know I know Ryan's got you know some time with his but there's some people that's like oh yeah my kid's gonna be due next week and I'm gonna take a trip to like Europe or something it's like really it's like why would you do that <laughs> why would you leave the house if your kid's gonna like pop out any second why not well if you have the money then who cares but for us we're like I, I, I don't think it <laughs> a money thing i think more of like a convenience thing like i feel like a woman that far along doesn't really want to go like why would you want to go anywhere well it so i mean like for us it was more like we wanted to stay to where like because we were my parents like they were like if you want to come down you can we're like nah that's a out of network we like we're not paying, we're not paying that hospital bill. Like we're the network and we're getting that shit cheaper. Well, yeah. I don't know. That's the only. I mean, it, it's not. People say it's like crazy expensive to have a kid. It is expensive, but it's like it's not that bad. I mean. I mean, in, was, in terms of what you pay, down. if your insurance is covering it and stuff, it's not that bad. But when you look at like the itemized bill, it's stupid. Like it shouldn't be that expensive. Five thousand. It was five thousand, I guess. But. Maybe just the ultrasounds. Yeah, they. So we, Kelly had ultrasounds with our previous insurance. And then we switched insurance because of a new job. And then the new insurance doesn't cover ultrasounds. And our previous one covered the whole ultrasound. Because they're like, it's an elective thing to do. But like, it's not elective. Like You have to confirm baby's health and all that fun stuff. Yeah, and so that was that was a nice like thousand dollar hit. That's why insurance companies suck. Mm-hmm. At least for medical insurance. It's like everyone... No, they suck for everything across the board. Car well, I mean, insurance. yeah, they, they suck for <laughs> auto and stuff too, but it's like if you don't have a car or don't drive, you don't need it because you're not going to be in that situation. Until but... somebody crashes into your car and well, takes what, off. That's, that's what their stuff. insurance is for. <laughs> but if they take off, you need an uninsured motorist. Because you don't know who hit your car. No, I mean, if you don't have a car. I'm saying, like, if you don't have a car, if you don't oh. drive, you don't need car insurance. Um, it just sucks if you get hit by a car. So she had her first professional lunch meeting today. It was... How many beers did she have? What? <laughs> Which steakhouse was it at? <laughs> How many beers did okay. she have? Well, is that a steakhouse? How many sushi rolls does she eat off a oh, naked it's woman? Like a, it's an Italian house, <laughs> right? An Italian house? Yeah. Wow. Like a That's high nice. class. Her cauliflower salad costs $18. Jeez. So Go to the store and get a thing of cauliflower lunch? for a couple bucks. She went to right. California for lunch. That's crazy. Yeah. And, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can see it, you can see it everywhere. Um, but they were talking about how like New York, um, has a bunch of lawsuits going on right now because nobody wants to go back to work and New York's like really going to start hurting for money here soon. Um, sure. Yeah. Sure. Are. I'm ready for bed. Sure. So, what are you saying about he, New York? He's just saying that because they keep yawning in the background. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm over here. Um, since like a lot of people people don't actually work in New York City or New York, they live in the outskirts or like New Jersey and all that. Yeah, and they commute in. And they're still getting. They're not going to work, in the office or anything, and they're still getting hit by like all the taxes and stuff. So they're filing lawsuits, I guess, against New York. Um, And a lot of companies are saying that they can work from home anywhere, like anywhere they want from home. 
They're just allowing it. And so, like, how New York is about to start, like, really hurting for money because they're not going to be able to charge taxes on people for stuff like that. Well, that and all the local businesses that support them for food aren't Mm -hmm. going to have that flow anymore. So it's going to be... This is gonna, it's gonna be interesting from for people from working from home and how it's gonna affect like the whole economy. I mean, from what I've been seeing, it's they say like that, you know, businesses thought that there was gonna be this big, like they were all hesitant to work from home, but then once people actually went and it switched over and started working from home, productivity didn't didn't really go down. No. Um, in certain cases, it went up. In some cases, it went up. People actually worked apparently more hours because they were home. They were answering yeah. emails at all hours of the night. They were, you know, talking and and doing work like crazy hours. So I think the idea of like you have to be in an office to get work done is kind of like it's it's pointless. Like no, there's a lot of people that can get their the amount of work they actually do in a day can be done at home so that doesn't really apply for kelly because like she has like like for say like for you marvels or rocky i mean i don't know what your situation is but like it's hard to work on a car remotely so i kind of well, have to be at the shop well that's what i'm saying so like for okay so for marvels i'm assuming you're connected to your email on your phone no oh <laughs> I choose not well, to. Probably most most people are. I'm yeah, assuming. Well, I'm like I'm connected yeah. to my email at work on my phone. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> so like, and that's what I like. You know, most people are that way. So like, even if they're out, they can still respond to emails. Yeah. And I think that's like the big factor of it is like, people can still like go out and do stuff or like, um. I mean, take her for instance, like when we went to Hilton or she showed up to Hilton Head and ruined me and my son's vacation together. <laughs> um, she was still like able to work completely the same, like, you know, while we were there. And it's just, you know, you're sitting on like, well, we were in like a, whatchamacallit, but like, you know, you're able to work wherever and you can still do the same amount. You can do the same amount of work anywhere. What, what people don't for certain jobs, certain jobs, you have to be on site to do it. That's, that's just, you know, the nature of whatever the work is. Some jobs though, like mine, for instance, I don't have to be in a specific place to do my job. You know, I just have to, for the most part, have an internet connection and, you know, my work laptop, because that has certain programs on there that have access to the the company network, whereas my personal stuff doesn't. Um, but, you know, when you're doing like something what I do, you know, web development, you're not working normally eight hours nonstop every day. You know, if you're working yeah. in a factory or if you're working in, you know, manufacturing or something, you're you're constantly doing stuff, you know, until you have breaks and shifts. What I do, though, there's a lot of downtime, like where you're waiting for someone else to do something or you're waiting for a response from blank or you turn your work in and now somebody else is checking it, you know, doing QA or whatever. Like there's a lot of times where you're not necessarily working 100 percent all eight hours, nine hours of the day. So the idea that like you have to be sitting in an office, you know, working when you're not working 100% of the time, because no one does in most office jobs, you're not normally working 100% of the time, you know, five days a week. It's kind of pointless that you have to be in a specific place. Like, sure, be at home. You don't have to sit in traffic. You know, I'm saving 10 hours a week at least in driving yeah, and just but... sitting in traffic and I get the same amount of work done. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think like people realize that like, Oh, you don't have to be in an office to get your, to still do your job. And so, yeah, I think there's going to be a, a, a somewhat of a shift for 
you know, smaller businesses that rely on the working people in that area to, you know, buy things from them, like restaurants or fast food places, like they're definitely going to probably take a hit in certain cities where work from home is bigger and there's less people going out and buying stuff, you know, because all of the businesses, you know, are, are half staffed or whatever. Um, but there's probably going to be also a bigger mix of people working from home some days, working in an office some days, you know, all of that. I could tell Rocky's tired. <laughs> right. I was going to say Rocky looks like me. I'm over here like, like rub your eyes, wake up a little. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Look at the time, guys. In that Ooh, case. This is a great show tonight. In we that case, you should call it. Stuff to aim for the next week. And hopefully I am more awake. We'll Hopefully see if, I'm here. We'll see if we have anyone else and Dink next well, week. Well, Dink, Dink's going to be gone, so we'll try to rotate <laughs> through uh, maybe Brent. Rhino's going to say yes every week until he actually shows up. Uh-huh. And Method's going to pick up a new sport. He's going to do bocce ball pretty soon, so yeah. we'll see how that plays out. All right. This is Rocky signing off because I am ready for bed. Yep. I'll see you guys. Later. Yeah.